All right, you guys. First and foremost, uh, you guys can go to movella.com where um, you can actually download the plugin and follow along if you want. Um, but this is where you will get it. You're going to go to movella.com, go to learn and support. And right here, software and documentation, that will bring you to this page that I'm on already. And under MVN Animate, you'll see, where is it? Plugins and integrations. If you just click that little arrow, it'll drop down. And then from here, if you just click there on the MVN Blender Live plugin, that will start your download immediately. And you'll be able to grab that add-on. And right here under Manual, that actually will take you to our documentation page. If you guys didn't know about this already, um, base.movella.com. We have all of our documentation, so if you have any, you know, workflows or any questions, this would be the first place to go to, and you can search up, you know, anything really, um, how to set up the SUE, how how to start a window, and you can find all of our documentation. So if you just type in Blender in the search bar here, um, that should take you to the results, and you'll be able to click on MBN Blender Live Plugin. And this is a documentation page that will run you through um, the steps that I will show you in more detail today. All right, so let's um, let's get started. Um, you can also download MVN, which is our software uh, that runs our motion capture systems. And you know the the free version, you are able to actually record with it and really kind of see all of the features. Um, that as well, you can find on the same page and just download MVN Animate. All right, let me minimize that and bring you to MVN. So when you open up our software, you'll you know come to a window like this. Um, I've got a MVN file open already. This is something I recorded, and you can see our little avatar. His name is Mo. Um, this is something I recorded for myself. It's supposed to be a giant that breaks out of a rock. And I've just got this on a loop, which I'll do by clicking there. And for the live stream, you want to click this little button that is the network streamer. And that will open up this little window here. And you just want to make sure that, by default, this should already be set up like this. Um, but if not, uh, make sure you have, you can add a streaming, a stream right here by clicking add. Um, but I'll remove that. So I have this ready. And make sure these are all checked. So the position and orientation, character metadata, scaling data, send finger tracking data if you have finger tracking. And um, if you have object tracking, you can send that as well. Um, I don't, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, with this, uh, you know, all good and to go, you can close that. And then I can actually just get out of MVN Animate already. I can just minimize this. And then I'll open up Blender. Um, so before I kind of jump into this, um, this is a really great way to very quickly get your motion capture data into Blender. Um, once this is all set up already, you can do an actual live stream. Like right now, I'm streaming in a recorded animation, but you could do this live, right? So you can actually have it all set up and uh, and see your character moving in real time um, in your scene so that you can kind of block out what you want to do and then record, you know, with the environment and everything um, already in place so you can kind of like know where you want to move and all that. That's really useful, um, especially in the prototyping and pre stage. So first thing, uh, you want to install the plugin. Uh, we'll go to Edit, Preferences, uh, go to Add-ons, and here you will actually, so I'm in uh, Blender 4.3, just so you guys know. Uh, you'll click this little thing and install from disk. And from there, you'll find where your add-on was downloaded. Um, for me, it's basically this right here. And when you click that, you can click Install from disk and that will install it. I've already got it installed, which is why I'm not clicking into it right now. Um, once you have that installed, you'll see it 
as one of um, these little things. Make sure it's checked on so that it's actually enabled. And with that, you will see this little tab right here, XNs. Press N, pop that open. Uh, you'll have three little sections here, the live streaming, recording, and the live retargeting. All right, with that, you also want to import your character that you want to um, stream to, right? So uh, for me, let me see if my, actually my character is already in here. Hold on. Yeah, I've got this character from Mixamo, um, but just to run through the steps real quick, you're just going to go to import FBX. And one thing to note here is you want to have this checked on. Um, I don't think this is on by default, but I always check this on automatic bone orientation because if you don't have this checked on. Sometimes the bones look a little bit like it just looks weird because the orientation is off. Um, so you want to have that checked on just for more of a visual thing. Okay. So I've got my character in here. I can move him maybe up a little bit. And then from there, I'm just gonna go to my live stream plugin and click start stream. Um, and one thing to note here is um, this by default should be set up ready, but you could actually stream this into uh, another um, computer, right? In, in that case, you would have to enter the IP address right here. But since I'm on the same system, it's just gonna be localhost and the port number, make sure this is matching up with what's in MBN right here. Um, but I'm using all of the default numbers. All right, so with all that set up, I'm gonna go ahead and click Start Stream. And right away, you'll see the Mo avatar coming in he's right here basically like my environment is kind of blocking him let me just hide that actually so this is my uh, live stream of my animation and then right here under live retargeting um, you might have to select this because I think m this was already inputted earlier um, but let's just say it was cleared so the target is my character that I'm going to and it's going to be called armature 001 and then the source you want to select your um, MBN it'll say MBN and whatever you named it in this case it's my name and then you'll if you have to edit the t-pose so the Mixamo characters are already in a t-pose right but if you import your character and um, it's not in a t-pose you're going to have to go and edit the t-pose and you basically just have to go into pose mode and then from here you know you'll, you'll grab the bone and make sure it's in this t-pose once that's done apply t-pose and then here you're gonna click auto map bones and this will map all of the bones to the um, MBN skeleton Okay, and I do notice my character, I think I, I moved him earlier. So let me stop this real quick. Yeah, I see my character kind of got moved. Let me just uh, re-import this guy. What is this? Advisor, delete that. So sometimes if you move your character, I think I moved him up and um, I didn't move the actual armature. Um, so it kind of got messed up. Okay. Now let me redo that. The source is from MVN. And this guy is actually called Armature 2. Apply T pose. Auto map bones. Ah, I gotta do it again. Uh oh. What's going on here? Source. Oh, I gotta go to armature two. All right, there we go. 
So now you can see my character is actually um, <laughs> doing the right thing. And he looks fine, looks good. So if your character has like a custom rig or something, um, you might have to go in here and manually make sure this is all matching up. Uh, the auto map bones, for Mixamo at least, it worked perfectly. But it really depends on your rig. So let's say your rig looks a little bit off. Um, you just need to make sure that, you know, this spine is actually going to the correct bone. And you can change it here by clicking into it and selecting the correct one. Right? So you type in head and all that. And from here, you can actually save this bone map so that you don't have to keep, you know, doing it over and over again. Uh, especially if you're using the same rig for other characters too. You can also load the map if you had this already previously made and you would just find where that is and load it up. All right, so this is all working. Um, there's some IK settings here you could uh, mess around with. You can quickly make the feet spread out a little bit. Uh, let me get a better view here. You can make them do the splits. Whee! Um, this is like depending on your character, right? If your character is like a giant monster or something, you can just very quickly uh, make some adjustments here. Go back to zero. Hip level raised the hip level that's probably what I should have done to like move him up a little bit because now I can turn my environment back because I do want him to be up a little bit um, and I can turn off the MDM bone, so I'll see that. And yeah, some hip offset as well you can do. And now the, the final step is to get this animation um, onto your character, because right now it's just live streaming, it's, it's in uh, real time. But to actually record it, you would just click this um, recording button. And if you were doing this uh, live, like you had an actor in the suit right now, you can basically record into XSense at the same time. Then you would just check that box. Um, but since I'm streaming a pre-recorded animation, uh, I'm not going to do that. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and start recording. Actually, let me wait till he gets into the right place. And you know what? I'm going to do it without the IK settings here. All right, ready, record. So it kind of walks a little bit. And then I'll stop recording. And you might be wondering, like, what happened? Where did it get recorded to? Um, you're going to go down here to your timeline and go to your dope sheet. And then under your dope sheet, you'll go to action editor. And this is where it gets recorded to. So it records it as a layer within your action editor. And this was, I think it's this one. Um, so the other thing I skipped over was you can name your take. Then you would know exactly what, what it's named and not just have it be a um, new session. Um, but here, I'm going to pause that stream, though, because it's going to kind of mess around with it. Um, so now if I scroll back and forth, I have my animation. But let me bring him out a little bit. I'm going to hide my house because it's kind of annoying. So as long as I have the armature selected, I should be able to move him over here. 
Okay, so now I've got my animation that I recorded earlier. And here you can start doing your cleanup or adding in more layers of animation. Um, I believe I, I do that. Then I can actually go into the NLA and you'll have your layer right here. And that's how you do the live stream.